I'm back. Hello, my honeys. Hello, hello, hello. It has been a while since my last video and I have a lot of good reasons why. I apologize in advance if you hear my cats going crazy. It's most, it's, it's just Flynn, he's crazy. I don't know why I would set him off, he's going crazy. But I want to give you guys a life update. Ooh. <laughs> life has been crazy. As you guys know, I got married at the mid slash end of December. If you haven't seen that video yet, definitely go watch it in the cards above and in the description box down below because it is quite the story. But let me update you guys on everything that happens since then because life has just been hitting hard. It's been hitting real hard. Mm. I originally wanted this video to be a little more dynamic, a little more fun, a little more something for you guys to see, but that's just not gonna happen today because every single day is crazy busy. So let me start. When we went home for Christmas, it was a huge drama as well. Oh my gosh, we got stuck in the chaos that was the extreme polar winter storm that canceled all the flights in the US. So we ended up spending an evening in Charlotte, North Carolina, and it ended up being a beautiful evening. And eventually we got on that plane to Toronto to be with my family over the holidays. And it was so nice to be home and just experience the winter because winter here is kind of like a Canadian, uh, a mild Canadian summer. Like it's mid January and it's like 24 degrees Celsius outside and sunny. The windows are open, like it's beautiful. I love it so much. New Year's Eve. We get back after the holiday season as a newly married couple and it's time to switch over my visa to a proper visa, the TD married visa. We were told at the Pearson International Airport that we could just drive through the border of the US and Mexico to activate our visa as long as we have the right paperwork. So that is exactly what we did. We drove four and a half hours down to the border of the US and Mexico with all our paperwork. We arrive, we walk up to the immigration office and then they tell us, no, you have to physically go over the border and re-enter the country to get your visa, which is always something that blows my mind. So what do we do? We park the car, we go on foot and physically walk across the border of US and Mexico and then all the way back in. We currently just walked across the border between Mexico and the United States to renew our visas. <laughs> we didn't think we'd be walking across, but things just played out that way. But we just uh, walked into Mexico now, and now we're walking right back into the US. <laughs> now we get a churro. I'm so sweaty. <laughs> Sweating. Churros. This is really actually very beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> this walk probably took about 20 minutes and we even grabbed a churro while we were walking through the border. Cause why not? We were suddenly in Mexico. We get right back to the immigration officers that told us to do this and guess what? They tell us we can't do our visas here. We go, what? You literally, we called you before driving, asking if we could do this here. You said, yes, we arrived. We said we were here to do this. And we called earlier. You said, no problem. Walk across the border. We come back after crossing it. And now you guys are saying we can't do this here. What the heck? We spent probably about two hours in the immigration secondary office just discussing it with them. And what it simply come down to is that the immigration officers just didn't seem to want to do the job because they weren't familiar with it. Their reasoning was saying that they only ever deal with Mexican passports and they never really have to deal with this with Canadian passports. So they weren't too sure on how to do it, which surprised me because it's simply the same process as any TD visa, visa, only you're selecting Canadian rep, Canadians instead of Mexicans, I don't know. Anyway, it was a whole drama. And after two immigration managers came over, the first one saying they wouldn't do it, the second and final one said that they could do it and it just required a little more effort. So at the end of the day, we got our visas and we drove all the way back to Austin. And 
in total, it probably equaled about nine hours to 10 hours of our day, but I'm glad that we did it because that was a major stress off our plate, allowing me to stay in the country. But I'm sharing this aspect of the story to you guys because I know there's definitely a lot of other people out there who might be in a similar situation. And the answer is no. If you want to make your life easier, make sure you have all the correct paperwork when you're going to the airport so that you can avoid going to the Mexico border to do it because they most likely will tell you they can't do it even though they technically can. They just don't want to go through the effort of doing it. Now, life got really busy because after getting our marriage and our proper visa, there was a lot of paperwork associated with it, with insurances, we needed to get our driver's licenses, with the DMV dramas, a lot of stuff was happening to make sure that I was legally aligned to be able to be here and have all the things that I need to have with my correct visa now in place. On top of all of this paperwork and legal stuff, Glow Atelier has been successful. Now, Glow Atelier is my new baby startup business. We have been in operation for about a year and a half now. And at the one year mark in June of 2022, we had to take a step back and look at the bigger picture. And we did a lot of logistics and looking into the numbers. And we actually realized that Glow Atelier was not something that I could continue at the way that it was going because it was not successful. It was not going the way that it should have gone. We realized that my business model would only ever be successful if I was able to purchase really, really huge quantities of inventory at a time. Because depending on the amount of product you buy, you can get it for cheaper. If you're buying the minimum, the minimum amount, you're paying more for the for the inventory. But if you're buying more and more and more quantity, you're paying less and less and less. And I don't have the funding, I don't have the investments. I am an out of pocket bootstrap startup business where everything that's going into the company is my own. So it was just not possible. And we realized that Glow Atelier was never going to be as successful with this business model if I wasn't able to have investors or some kind of mega loan to fund mega inventory purchases. And then that got me looking back at what was the original goal of Glow Atelier. And that was to start off as a boutique and then branch off into my own products. So that was the moment that we decided it was time to branch off into our own products. And as you guys may have saw, this has been a process in, in the works ever since June. And in the end of November, we launched one of my new products, which was the Glass IPL Photo Facial. And oh my God, you guys, this blew up for us. This made Glow Atelier go from a failing business to a successful business. And the reason being is that it, it seems to be a product that people want. And it seems to be hitting a niche that hasn't already been targeted. And additionally, I finally, after a year and a half, you guys, after a year and a half, I finally created an ad advertisement that works. This is the, we have dropped thousands of thousands of marketing dollars into Facebook ads over a year and a half and none of them produced any sales. But this is the first one that did. I don't know what I did right, but it worked and it has now made it possible for me to continue Glow Atelier and proceed in developing more of my own skincare items. Now, what made this really, really really chaotic for me, which is why I haven't been so active on any of my social medias, is that I originally only purchased a really, really small amount of inventory. I'm saying 20 units, that's it. I purchased 20 units initially and they sold out within a week. And so I was, I have been in this constant panic state of reordering stock and being back ordered for over a month now. So on the second order from our manufacturer, I ordered, a, I ordered double the amount. So I ordered, I think about 40 total units, 40 plus. And again, they sold out within a week. I kid you not. And we're in another state of back order. So we ordered more than we ordered about 60 units total. And they already are about to sell out again. And we just got them a week ago. We just got them a week ago. And so I have been in a constant state of communicating with my manufacturers, communicating with different suppliers, um, developing product packaging, uh, working on advertisements, because apparently the same advertisement 
will get cut off at some point. So you have to come up with a new one because it will stop showing your ad to people because it's called creative fatigue. So I have been in a state of panic trying to come up with more ideas on ads that might be successful. And it's been so stressful, you guys. I kid you not. Last week, this past weekend, I was having a huge mental health breakdown. I was crying. I was angry. I was stress breaking out. I was having a hard time sleeping. I had no appetite. It's just been really crazy stressful. But I am so grateful that I finally, my efforts are finally paying off. I've been working so hard for a year and a half on Global A to achieve my goals. And I think I'm finally hitting the nail on the head and having Global A become successful. And of course, this is, this is stuff I wouldn't talk about before because I don't want to say, oh, my business is struggling. Oh, my business isn't going so well. Oh, we're not, we're not making enough money to survive with this business model. I am so happy that finally something has worked. And thank you guys so much for the support with Glow Atelier. I am in the works of getting my other product launches out. I have three upcoming product launches. One, I just simply need to do photo shoots for and and all that stuff and get gifting campaigns open there's so much more work to do but the product is ready the product is here i just have to create the content for it i have another formula in the works and it's almost good it's almost correct hey stop fighting almost correct but there's just a few tweaks i need to make to it and then start finding a a manufacturer to help me make the packaging for it. And then the glass IBL photo facial has been a work in the progress. I'm, I'm working on upgrading the packaging. I'm working on upgrading a lot of stuff to make it feel more luxurious because I originally launched this product as a demo to test to see if it would be good. And I wanted my second order, if, it, if the first order went well, from my manufacturer then I wanted to produce with proper packaging, but it has just been a game of chase and catching up that I have not even had a heartbeat to create and design proper packaging for it. So that is in the works. And then I have another quick product I want to get out and launch that is a little more, more easy and requires less custom designing and custom packaging. It has been crazy, but I think I am now officially one step closer to my goal in life, which is having my own business that I can someday register as a, in Japan and somehow get that Japan business visa with the help of a lawyer someday. We're definitely not there yet, but maybe someday I will be soon. Who knows? I'm working so hard, you guys. It's not easy. It's not easy starting your business on a small, small, small budget of your own paycheck, but we're making moves. Things are happening. Things are happening. And that leads us to today. I am two days out of my mental health breakdown and able to sit in front of the camera and talk to you guys without freaking out. <laughs> so I wanted to give you guys a little bit of an update on that. And hopefully I can get back to vlogging nicely once things get more streamlined and in order because it's just every single day it's been on the computer emailing talking to manufacturers. I haven't even had a, a second to edit videos or do anything other than that. So things are starting to hopefully get into a, a, a system and be more smooth and manageable. So here we are. So yeah, January has been crazy. And before I know it, it's going to be the end of March and we're going to be in Japan for an extended vacation. I'm so excited. And in February, we're going to Mexico for a little four day trip to just decompress. So things are going to start getting really, really exciting. You guys, I'm so excited to share it all with you. But I just want to say thank you for being patient with me and waiting. I hope that things, like I said, can get a little more streamlined and we can all we can get back to being on YouTube a little more regularly and we can just not be in a state of having mental health breakdowns because of being overworked and not knowing what you're doing, but trying to figure it out anyway. So much for watching. The next video is going to be a makeup tutorial for one of the cosplay looks that I did recently. So definitely tune into that and I will catch you next time. Bye.